good afternoon today we will discuss about anatomy of the liver liver is the largest organ in our body it performs both both exocrine and endocrine functions coming to the location of the liver liver occupies most of the right hypochondrium epigastric region and the left hypochondrium it frequently it may extends as far as anterior axillary line in the left hypochondrium the shape of the liver is triangular shaped and color of the liver is reddish brown then coming to the measurements it weights about 1.4 to 1.8 kg in male and in newborn it weights about 150 grams coming to the characteristics of liver the liver is highly vascular organs and moves with the respiration the liver is reddish in color liver is soft and solid the liver is very essential for life the surgical removal of two thirds of the liver may capable of life liver have some features and liver have five borders uh, you can see three borders five surfaces and three four lobes and two ligaments let's discuss about borders of the liver first one we have inferior border posterior superior border and posterior inferior border so this is the inferior border it is the sharp and prominent border see this is the inferior border this border is very sharp and prominent directed anterior inferiorly and separates the anterior surface from inferior surface coming to next we have posterior superior border it lies between the posterior and superior surface and third one we have posterior inferior border it is formed from inferior layer of the coronary ligament inferior border of the cardiac lobe we have five surfaces anterior surface posterior surface superior surface interior surface and right surface discuss about anterior surface so this is the anterior surface this is triangular in shape through this surface the liver is subdivided into anatomical right and left lobes by the attachment of falciform ligament here relations see we are discussing about the anterior surface of the liver relations right part right part we have right coastal margins diaphragm 6th to 10th ribs and lower margins of the right lung and left part of the anterior surface of the liver we have left coastal margin and the diaphragm and 7th and 8th left coastal spaces and cartilages let's discuss about the superior surface of the liver superior surface this is convex shape see this is the superior surface this is the convex in left and right sides and coming to the uh, discuss about the right surface of the liver so right surface the right this is the right lateral surface this is the right surface this is convex in all sides and it is quadrangular in shape this is covered with the peritoneum and coming to the posterior surface uh, coming to the posterior surface posterior surface has the bare area and the groove for inferior vena cava cardiac lobe and groove for abdominal part of the esophagus next coming to the ligaments of the liver uh, we have many ligaments of the liver ligamentum teres hepatis and ligamentum venosum these ligaments supports the liver falciform ligament and coronary ligaments these ligaments supports the 
liver so coming to the cells of the liver apart from hepatocytes the liver has many cells hepatocytes sinusoidal endothelial cells macrophages hepatic stem cells natural killer lymphocytes the epithelial cells of the bilateral and the connective tissue cells of the capsule and portal traces so you can see the clearly the microstructure of the liver the liver contains bile duct hepatic artery hepatic portal vein this is called portal tread and bile ductules vascular supply and lymphatic drainage the blood supply the liver has the unique dual blood supply the liver get its nutrition from hepatic artery and portal vein hepatic artery from 25% and portal vein 75% veins you can see there are two venous systems the portal vein and the hepatic veins portal veins conveys venous blood from the majority of the gastrointestinal tract and hepatic veins drains blood from the liver parenchyma to the inferior vena cava so this is the hepatic artery hepatic give, hepatic artery gives rise to the right gastric artery and gastroduodenal arteries and portal vein is formed behind the neck of the pancreas and hepatic veins these liver drains three major hepatic veins into the suprahepatic portion of the inferior vena cava and hepatic veins we have right hepatic vein middle hepatic vein and left hepatic vein lymphatic drainage the lymph from the uh, liver is rich in protein and mostly a product of the hepatic sinusoids it passes via deep and superficial pathways obstruction of the hepatic venous drainage increases the flow of lymph in the thoracic duct then coming to the bare area of the liver this is the you can see in the picture this is the bare area of the liver the at attachment site of the liver to the right diaphragm is called bare area the liver is completely covered by visceral peritoneum with the exception the bare area which is where is where the liver is in contact with the diaphragm this is the bare area of the liver and clinical anatomy cirrhosis of the liver under under certain conditions liver tissue undergoes fibrosis and shrinks this is called cirrhosis of the liver and second liver, clinical anatomy of the liver is liver bi uh, liver biopsy this liver uh, liver biopsy needs to be done in the certain clinical conditions liver biopsy needle is passed through right eighth intercostal space discuss about referral pain referral pain this is also clinical anatomy of liver referral pain arising from the parenchyma of, of liver is poorly localized in common with other structures of foregut origin pain is referred to the epigastrium irritation of the liver capsule by inflammation or neoplasia produces well defined localized somatic pain pathology involving the diaphragmatic surface of the liver may be referred via phrenic nerve to the right shoulder region 